In Santa Cruz, moving day for the Benchlands Camp in San Lorenzo Park. A transitional camp is now open on city-owned property along River Street. Action News reporter Phil Gomez joins us live from Santa Cruz with more on how the move is going. Aaron, there remain quite a number of tents at the park. It may take more than one day to relocate campers to the temporary location at 1220 River Street or elsewhere. The new location is planned to be open for three or four months. The goal is to find a permanent location down the line. People have vouchers to move today, tomorrow, and the next day, um, but we are basically welcoming anybody. Metal fencing now encircles the section of San Lorenzo Park occupied by campers over the last four months. Many have signed vouchers agreeing that they'll follow the rules of the transition camp. And then they got certain hours for showers and you got to make sure you're there at that same time that they're going to close down and stuff. So. Homeless advocates question how many campers will actually be allowed in. Maybe, I don't know, what, 30 or 40 percent will be able to get in. Where do they go? I mean, when they leave here. For folks who don't have a voucher, we're going to um, assess the situation, how many spots we have available at the camp. The transitional campsite was full by late afternoon. Some spots may open later, but this man is out of luck. And with heavy rainfall in the forecast, he'll have to find shelter elsewhere. Maybe go to the Red Church. Yeah, yeah. Totally. You know, it said that was open, so it's a possibility. Try to stay warm and dry. The Benchlands closure coincides with the police department's neighborhood policing program. Officers are maintaining a visible presence and cracking down on crime. As of noon, 120 people were contacted, five vehicles were towed, four citations were issued, and 18 arrests were made. We really want to set that tone that uh, we want to help in any way we possibly can, but there is a line, and that line is criminality. We're going to, we're going to deal with it. Police also conducting an informal survey on how many homeless are in the community and letting them know about the services offered to the homeless community. Erin. Phil, thank you. There are some other alternatives available. The warming center along Cedar and Lincoln streets and the winter shelters are all locations that are available to help people who are homeless.